Secure the bone model in the vise. Place the wire passer around the bone, staying close to the bone's surface. Insert the straight end of the wire into the end of the wire passer. Withdraw the wire passer and remove it from the wire. Insert the straight end of the wire through the eye. The straight end of the wire is passed through the opening in the wire tightener. The wire is then passed through the hole in the center of the peg and the peg turned to tighten the wire. Once the wire is secured around the bone, it must be bent away from the eye to lock it in place. To achieve this, the peg is turned in the opposite direction and tension is applied to the instrument to expose approximately one centimeter of wire. The wire is then bent over and cut off with the wire cutter. B. Cerclage wire without eye. A 15 mm strand of wire has been cut from the coil. For an alternative method of wire passing, curve one end of the wire and pass it around the bone. The two ends of the wire are twisted together two or three times by hand. The two free ends of the wire are bent 90 degrees and held securely while excess wire ends are cut off. The thumb is used to help keep the wire 90 degrees to the long axis of the bone. In surgery, an instrument would be used for this purpose. The wire is twisted with even tension applied until it engages the bone. To lay the twisted end of the wire close to the bone, the twisting action is continued in the same direction without any tension being applied to the wire. The excess wire is cut off leaving three or four twists.